On October 5th of this year, while Rapid Cityans like myself were dealing with a blizzard, uh, there's, there were some folks that were not here. They had gone east to escape the storm. But actually, they, I think, caused another storm. I'm here with today with uh, my friend Tanchi Weaver and Florence Thompson, who traveled to Sioux Falls to um, put on a Common Core convention. Is it a conference? Is that is well? That actually, it, we were facilitating it along with Laura Hubble. She was actually the one that put it all together. Uh, but uh, we used uh, a lot of the same template that we used for our, for our conference here in Rapid City. Yes, yeah, so we had a major speaker, and Florence gave a wonderful workshop called Lab Rats, Legislators, Control Freaks, and Your Kids. <laughs> so. Well, that sounds interesting. Well, how did Tell us about it. How did it go? Uh, pretty well. Um, a lot of these people are fairly tuned in. They, they've already heard something about Common Core, but many, many of the aspects of Common Core are, are really shocking. And so I, I cover some of those psychological aspects of it, uh, how the invasion of our children's privacy can take place through the use of the computers and the cameras on the computers and using biofeedback and behavioral techniques and uh, can uh, instill all sorts of propaganda and uh, whatever the programmers wish to do. When you have central programmers controlling these programs, you have no control over what's going into your child's mind. I had forgotten uh, that uh, Florence is a school psychologist, and that's why I'm going to have to watch my <laughs> what I say and how I say it right now. But uh, did you feel that the audience was enlightened by this conference? Oh, I know that they were. We had a, our main speaker was Dr. Sandra Stotsky. And Dr. Stotsky was on the Common Core Validation Committee. She was uh, the expert in English language arts, and she called these standards an empty set of skills and refused to sign off mm -hmm. on them. Her speech was very enlightening. And then uh, also Jenny White of um, Restore Oklahoma Public Education, or ROPE, that's the acronym. She was a high-energy presenter, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she was fun. She was a lot of fun, but she kind of broke down the alphabet soup of agencies, you know, all of the, all of the acronyms and agencies that share data on the children that um, are provided by the schools. And she discussed the fact that the FERPA laws, which is um, Family Education, um, helping with that, yeah, Privacy Act. Um, and and it, uh, it was a revelation to many people that the schools not only are not protecting their children's data, but could be selling their children's mm. data I to see. private entities. I think the fact that Common Core is not what it purports to be. It is not what it seems to be. We are being sold really a bill of goods. And I think what Dr. Stotsky said really struck me. She said, I assumed that when I was put on the validation committee, I was there to validate something. It's not so, huh? It, Apparently, <laughs> it was all a sham. Mm -hmm. wow. And there was also mathematics uh, scholar, Dr. James Milgram, who also refused to sign off on these standards because, in his words, it would put our students two years further behind. The standards have never been benchmarked, and that's one of their selling points, that they're benchmarked. They're not benchmarked. The program's never been piloted. It's, it's all experimental. So they're experimenting on an entire nation of children. Well, uh, having attended the conference, and actually you you actually ran a successful conference here in Rapid City. Oh, it was. Uh, and that went very well, I know, because I attended it, and it was very informative. Uh, where do we go from here? What What's the next step in fighting this common core monster? Well, probably the most important thing we have to do is communicate to our legislature, because this process, the fact that we have Common Core, was a complete bypass of the people, parents, teachers, university professors, anyone other than the Department no of Education. No South Dakotans were involved. No. Well, I guess we just have to uh, 
talk about this some more and find out how we can really make a difference.